Okay, here we're back, if you've been watching our series of videos. Today we're working on 1941 to 1948 Ford and Mercury. In this case, we gotta have a few Mercury parts too. We'll start with one of our most popular parts, the rear tail pan or rear roll pan, whatever you guys, different names for different parts of the country. This is what it is, our part number eight. This is a full rear roll pan. This was standard equipment in 1941, 1942, 1946, and the first half of 1947. And it will fit, it'll, it will fit your late 47 and 48 cars with no problems. It bolts, bolts right in or welds right in, no problem. Notice the curves. Notice the smoothness of the curves. No wrinkles, no wrinkles. Made in our own tooling here in the States. Not imported, but made in the USA with heavy 18 gauge steel. We have your weather strip channel formed. Flanges on the side, spot weld flange on the bottom over here, rolls all the way in and is nine inches deep. And like I said, this will fit all two door sedans, four door sedans, all coupes. Of course, we'll fit the station wagon. Standard equipment, 41 to early 47. In late 47 and 48, and 48 was a short year, they had a short pan. You know the old rumors, Ford, Ford will do anything to save a penny, and they saved a little bit of money there. A couple little bit of metal. Uh, nice piece, made in the USA. Here again, formed. Got your, has, your, has your flanges here. Drill it out. Nice weather strip channel, 18 gauge steel. Now, for a lot of guys, you know, we're running street rods, we're running different types of bumpers. The rear roll pan will fit your car if you have a late 47 or 48. It requires no modification to anything else. It goes right in. You can run it with any bumper. You can run it with a stock bumper. You can run it with a custom bumper. You can run it with or without the gravel shield if you happen to have one of those. Some cars had that extra option if it was fancy. Ford and Mercury. It's one of the few years where Ford and Mercury from the front firewall to the back bumper were the same. Nice piece. Now behind this, behind this panel we have what we call another year's the toolbox compartment. It's just a fabricated piece. It's very nice. 18 gauge steel made in the USA. We include the st stiffening ribs for it. So you'll tack them into place. Your outer pan fits together like this and you have a large space where you have the toolbox compartment. Okay, toolbox compartments were a little bit different. They were standard on 41, 42, uh, and early 46. So mid 46, they eliminated this, but they still kept the full roll pan by running the trunk floor all the way back. We have trunk floors for either cars. That's in a different, different video but we do have them since we brought the topic up. Okay, back again. One of the other nice things which was new for 2014 with EMS, on your front fenders, you got your wheel opening over here where it butts up against the firewall. This is the lower rear part of your front fender for the 41 to 48 Ford. Often rusts out in this area here. We die stamped this up, we made some tooling, die stamped it up with all the correct curves and shapes. Notice we make a nice little offset for you so you can tuck it up there under the fender. We got your fender flange, little tab there for the bolt. Roll it all the way around the corner with no wrinkles. 18 gauge steel made in the USA. Fits all 41 to 48 Fords. If you happen to have a Mercury, the front ends a little bit differently. You can still take this panel, cut it here, and use the back half to fit your Mercury if you wanted to do that. Great piece. Now, while that comes up, as we move down the side of the car, we have the lower front cowl. Okay, and this actually part will actually kind of bolt up like that. Let's get the fenders off. Lower front cowl, most of this area is hidden by the fender. But here again, we, now we're starting to get into the very unique shape of the 41 Ford where we have this big horseshoe area that comes out. We've stamped this here again, no wrinkles, 18 gauge steel, got your offset. And we include the door post in here. And the door post goes together like this. 
And this way you're, you're, you're fixing up the lower part of the doorpost panel where the hinge pocket is, the lower front cowl. Great parts, great parts. As we further work down the door, we have the rocker panel. Or in, the, in this case, they're starting to eliminate the running boards. So what we have is, we're calling it a rocker box assembly. And the rocker box assembly is two major pieces. We include some uh, nuts that have to be welded in and stuff like that. You see the holes here for it. This is the bottom where the running board actually bolts up to these holes. This rocker box sits in there. This is the structure that holds up your floor pans and keeps your front and rear door posts tied together. 18 gauge steel, here again, this has to be stamped in our own tooling here in the States. Notice our, our material is not black in color like that cheap Chinese stuff. Real heavy duty material. This is the inner piece. After you put that on, you put this in here and it comes together as your structural assembly. There again, that gets tack welded on this. This happens to be the part that goes the center, the center piece. It goes from the front door post to the rear door post. There is another section that goes behind the cowl and an additional section over here that goes behind the quarter panel. And so all of those, you pick whichever ones you rot, or whichever ones you need because they're all rot. But speaking of the quarter panel, EMS Automotive, die stamps the rear low front rear lower quarter panel this is your rear door post this is your this is your rear fender area we stamp in your corners your door jam we roll underneath here again all this shape die stamp can never make it out of an old license plate or anything like guys used to do it just doesn't do it all your shape this happens to be for your business coupe the long one rare we got we got the short one fits all your two-door sedans and your club coupes because it had the bigger door club coupe had the bigger door because it had a back seat here again all your shape 18 gauge steel absolutely cool. okay door bottoms uh 41 to 48 ford and mercury taking the same doors ems has a door bottom kit where we give you the outer skin made out of 20 gauge Stamped in the USA, like we always say, I'm like a broken record, but we have to. The only company that left making stuff here, sheet metal. Notice none of that black Chinese tissue paper steel. Die stamped, all the, look at that shape. No wrinkles, all the curves, just like factory 20 gauge. Has your flanges so you can fold them over. We notch the corners for you, easy fold with that hem, uh, hemming tool that you buy at your local tool store. That comes in there. When you buy the kit, you get the outer, and you also get the inner. The 41 to 48 Fords has this huge, look at that, it's almost four or five inches on the inside of the door. All that place to catch all that garbage and make, make the thing rust out. Here again, all the, all the shape. We got the hinge pocket recess. We got your shape over here for the doors, your beads, all their heavy 18-gauge steel. Here again, made in our plants with our own tooling and stuff. Comes together as a kit, and you make your you get your door all ready to go. They come in two versions, long and short. You got your two-door sedan long version and club coupe. And for your business coupe, you would have the short door. And also the short door works on the front door of a four-door sedan, so we can fix those up. Unfortunately, we don't have anything for the rear door. One of the other nice things we make now for the 41 to 48 Ford. Okay, here we go. 41 to 48 Ford and Mercury. I love to have those Mercury guys, the great cars. We have running boards, new for 2015 from EMS Automotive. For running boards, the 1941s is a one year only running board. It has a special nose that wraps around the fender. Let me show you how that goes. It wraps around there like that. That's how you tell that you gotta get the angle in there. You get a 41 running board. Okay, even though the fenders are all the same, you can always put that on there if you wish, some type of custom look. Die stamped in the USA, 16 gauge steel. Notice all the holes so it makes an easy bolt up with the screws. Rolled around, steel smoothie. Flanges at the bottom, like they're supposed to be. Made in the USA. Um, goes on there, bolts up to the car. Can paint them street rod smoothie style or put on your favorite, the original uh, rubber mat.
from your regular parts supplier or something custom that you'd like to do. Fits 41, Ford, and Mercury. All body styles. Now for your 42 to 48, we have another that has its own unique running board. Here again, we have all the holes. 16 gauge steel, made in the USA. Fits all body styles. Rolls around underneath. Notice that we have the correct curve. This is not straight fabricated cheap, but the correct curve, die stamped and heavy tooling in our big presses. And that, that goes on and bolts up to the car. You notice the slight difference between the two, 42 to 48 Ford and Mercury. Here again, paint it street rod smoothie, put your favorite rubber mat over it, chrome strip, aluminum, however you want to decorate it, makes your car look great from EMS Automotive.